You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and this is the Twisby Swipe. This is the newest pen from the Twisby line, and I picked this up from Lemur Inc. in the DC Pen Show for, uh, you'll see, it goes for $26.99 is what I paid. That is the normal price for this here pen. And uh, before I inked it up and started using it, I wanted to go ahead and post like a little first impressions, let's get into the box sort of video. So, it comes in different packaging from the usual Twisby Fair, which usually has like this sort of plastic, like, I don't know, clear plastic case that you take off and you take out the bottom and it's got like a wrench and all that sort of thing. This doesn't really have all that stuff. Uh, this does have a whole bunch of things in it here. As you can see, content, one fountain pen, one spring converter, one piston converter, and an ink cartridge. That's pretty cool. A lot of stuff in there, so let's get in there. There are only two colors available in the US. There is the black one, and then there is this one, which is blue, and I believe it's called Prussian blue. Let's see, does it say on the box anywhere? It doesn't, it says a vaguely bluish, I don't know, that's pretty black, a very vaguely bluish uh, box there with the nib size. That's kind of all you got on there. Uh, and then you have this little packet of things, and you have the pen. So, let's, what do we have here? Optional use with cartridge not needed during normal use. The spring. Spring adds ex extra security for maximum engagement of cartridge during extreme movements. E.g. dropping the pen on the floor. Interesting. So, it comes with a um, with a spring. Just a big honking spring in here. Uh, which you can put in the back of the pen when you put the cartridge in. Also, look at the size of this cartridge. Let me get a regular cartridge just for scale. Because, cause, yo, that's big. All right, so this is an international, standard international cartridge from Diamine. Uh, <laughs> look at that. That is massive. <laughs> wow. You can buy packs of these cartridges now. Uh, I clearly haven't used it. I don't think I'm going to put the cartridge in there because I don't know what the ink is, and I can't really judge the pen if I don't know the ink. Uh, but I don't think that the standard international and this cartridge have the same opening size, but let's go ahead and see. Get out me old... My old thing here, can I even, yeah, there we go, 2.5 millimeters, well, actually, that might fit, we'll try some, we'll try some stuff here in a sec, alright, so, comes with this big old cartridge, massive, easily twice the capacity of the standard international, maybe more, that's, that's massive, so you have that, you also have this uh, piston converter, which I hear comes with uh, some of the ones, I think this is the one that comes with the ones overseas. Like, the overseas version of this pen, the non-US version, only comes with one converter, and we get, we get two for some reason. But this does seem like a very high-capacity converter. Like, this is gonna really suck up a lot of ink. It's also got an interesting, like, like, stop. Right, right there, where it hits some resistance. Let's see if we can take this apart. Yeah, we can. Alright, what's in here? There's the marble. We'll keep the marble. I don't mind the agitator, but you can take that out if you want. Hmm. Yeah, that's an internal bit. All right, well, let's put it back together. Now, don't take apart all your pens when you first get them. That's just a thing that I do. I know how to put them back together, and, uh, you know, if it breaks, uh, I just eat the cost. All right, there's that and those. So this is the Twisby Swipe, which is a very, I think it's a nice looking pen. I like the look of the clip there. It reminds me kind of, um of things like the Pelicano Junior or the Pelicano from Pelican, which is sort of a school starter pen uh, that has, I feel like it has this kind of like interesting clip shape-ish, but this is a metal clip, which has got kind of a matte brushed look on it. Uh, and then the barrel and everything else on here is plastic. The thing about this clip is it is extremely, that is a very stiff clip. Uh, and I was playing with this a little bit and you can't really get much underneath this clip. It's it's not it's not super useful as a clip, which I think is like that's weird. Why is that? I don't know why this would be so stiff. Like getting this on a, a shirt pocket, I don't know, man. Getting it on a jeans pocket, absolutely not. Clipping it on your paper, it's gonna wreck your paper. <laughs> so I don't know what this clip is for. I mean, I guess it's a a good roll stop, but they could just put a roll stop on it, you know. Anyway, so clip, not super functional. A little Twisby medallion up here in the top. I like that. I like the, the red color. That's good. 
Uh, interior of the cap, you see there is a cap seal in there, so that ought to be good to keep your uh, your nib from drying out. Dig it. The uh, the section here is round, which I, I wasn't sure if it's going to be round or if it's going to be triangular, but it is nice and round. Nothing weird there. It's transparent. Don't worry if you see ink around the feed and the nib and such when you get a pen like this. It is supposed to be there, but lots of times people say are, are worried that it might be busted. You actually can't see the uh, the nib size marking uh, because it is just below the collar, like it's just in it's just inside there, which is too bad. I can't. I kind of think they need to move the the nib size marking to the side or uh, you know up here maybe next to or in the Twisby logo or something because you can't tell what size the nib is. This is just a medium. I tend to get mediums for evaluation pens because it's hard to go wrong with medium, frankly. The body, while this is all round, does have, is this round? Yeah, this is a cap is all round. The body, however, has lots of facets. Uh, five, in fact, it's pentagonal. It goes from round to pentagonal, and I think that's totally fine. It feels good in the hand. Uh, it gives a little bit more interesting, uh, more interest than if it were just a, a round body. It says Twisby there, and nothing on the bottom. There we go. Let's open this up. All right, pretty standard. No holes in here. I bet you could eyedropper this if you want to. Has a. Uh, it doesn't have that many threads, but a little bit of silicone sealant there on the threads, I think, would be would be good, and keep this uh, closed for eyedroppering. But I don't know. It's uh, it's it's got kind of a high pitched ting. When you drop it, so mm, I don't know if I'd eyedropper, but that's up to you. It doesn't have a super good hold on the little nipple-y thing down there when you put this on, but enough where it's probably not going to come off. And of course, when you have this screwed on there, like it can't come off because the piston is so long. It, like, go, it goes all the way to the back of this, uh, of this barrel, so that's cool. Uh, I guess that's why. Let's see. Is this going to be the same way? Oh. This has got a much better connection, actually. That's that's much more, it's much more, uh, um, well fitted. Uh, but this also goes to the back, and if you put the cartridge in, it doesn't quite go all the all the way to the back. But that's why you have the spring. All right, interesting. So they don't want anything falling off of that uh, that internal nipple, which uh, makes sense. So this is an interesting converter that they have included with this pen, which is they have a spring. <laughs> it's got an internal spring. So I'm going to use this converter to ink this pen up this time because I want to see how this spring works. And also I'm curious about how impossible this is to clean. So, oh, does this come apart? Oh. oh, there goes the marble. Come back in here. All right, cool. So you can actually take this apart very easily. Uh, all right, so this is good. So you can actually take this apart super easily so you can <laughs> just clean that spring which is nice. Twisby is really good about giving you the means to take things apart, which I appreciate as a tinkerer. Uh, but yeah, so this is, <laughs> that's interesting. Seems, <laughs> seems like you don't really need that. I don't know why they do it, but it's cool. It's an interesting thing. And I think it actually looks nice through the, um, through the barrel there. So let's see if we can see that when we fill it up. Uh, um, oh wait, let me see if a standard international converter fits this first. All right, getting into the, the lock and lock box of converters. You can see I have quite a few. Um, it looks like the uh, the openings here, it looks like the opening is more or less standard international, although it's a different shape uh, on the outside. It doesn't have that flare or whatever. Uh, it looks more or less the same size. So let's go ahead and see if any standard international converters uh, fit on it. This one's kind of a weird one. Nope, that's not at all it. Uh, here's the standard Schmidt international converter. Yeah, fits just fine, actually. So yeah, I bet you can use your um, your international standard international cartridges on here with no issue. Uh, what else do we have? This is a Lamy one. No, way too big. What's this? This is another version of that Schmidt. Yeah, just fine. So this is standard international. Just, uh, you know... Uh, oversized for some reason. I, I think that's kind of an interesting thing. Just like make it a standard international so you can use whatever you want, but then make it huge. Uh, also note that this ca cartridge and these converters will not fit in other pens because they are just way bigger. <laughs> They're so big. All right. All right. We're going to use this one. Oh, I've seen this in a couple of videos. Let's see if I can make this jump off. No. Mine's not jumping off. I'm a little disappointed. 
I think it's pulling enough vacuum through the nib. Yeah, I think it's like it's got enough impedance pulling through this nib and feed that it's not getting the. Well, and also just I think it's yeah, it's just a slow enough. It's fine. It's not gonna pop off. I've seen some people do it, so you know, don't just put it in your anything like just let it go willy nilly because it might just pop off your pen and like go flying around. But this one doesn't seem to want to do it. Okay, let's fill this up. I'm gonna use a Twisby ink. I haven't used many of these. Let's give this a shot. What should I use? I think I'll put. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna hit that sky blue. Let's see what that sky blue is like in this pen. There we go. It's the Twisby ink set from a, a little while ago. I've used uh, the green and I think one other in here, but I don't think I've used the sky blue. So let's see what this is like. All right, filling a fountain pen at 101. Very, very easy to do. Let's fit in there. Yeah, it will. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is pretty narrow. All right, so what you want to do is uh, move the piston all the way to its bottom position on a screw position, uh, screw piston. You'll go like this. Just put that at the bottom uh, because otherwise, when you push this or when you uh, work the piston, it will blow air into here, and you might get bubbles, and it leads to splashing, and that leads to inky, inky fingers which is not really what you want when you're just filling up a pen. You'll submerge the nib up to the top of the collar here, like like here, uh, because that's where it's it's drawing uh, drawing in air and now ink from all around it. So submerge that and just let this piston work. All right, not bad. So your first, uh, your first working of that piston is uh, only gonna fill about halfway. And that makes sense because you're also, you've got a lot of a volume of air and such down here. So just put it back in the ink. Work it again, and uh, yeah, we're getting closer. Now, if you kind of keep going, you will continually get more ink, which is cool. Uh, one thing about this converter is that you're not going to get a full fill because you've also got to account for the volume of the spring in here. So when you get to the bottom, you know, the, the piston can't go all the way to the bottom of the converter. You know, probably about that much of the converter is taken up with compressed spring at the bottom. So you can't really get a full fill, but like whatever, I mean... Look how much ink that is already. That's that's plenty. Is it entirely full? Nah, and that's fine. <laughs> totally fine. All right. Uh, another thing I like to do, and I didn't uh, I didn't show it. I just kind of did it. Was uh, I like to you know squeeze out a couple of. We'll just do it now. I like to squeeze out a couple of drops from the um, from the pen back into the bottle. And then let the converter suck up a little bit of air. And what that does is it keeps your feed from being flooded with ink. So this right here would just be saturated and just flooded with ink. And that means that when you start writing with your pen, it's just going to be dropping way too much ink onto the page. And you're not going to like that. It's going to be uh, darker than you want. It might be bleedy. It might be spready. You never know. Okay, so let's put that back together. Let me grab some paper and we'll see how this thing writes. Okay, so here we have my uh my color ring oversize which i use for ink swatching and things of that nature these are great same paper as in the color decks and color ring from anna over at well appointed desk it's great stuff so i've got <laughs> i got a little bit of ink actually in the cap there just from the this is a very strong seal uh one thing with uh these slip caps is that if you have them pointed down when you take the cap off, it does pull a slight vacuum sometimes that will suck some ink out of the pen and into the cap. But if you just tilt it up when you do that, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna add to that ink in the cap. I'll just, I'll just wick that out with a little piece of tissue paper or something. All right, so Twisby swipe. Uh, medium nib with Twisby. Uh, these little bits here are not actually skips of the pen. I just, uh, this has got a little bit of a bounce to it, and I wasn't looking at the paper and uh, lifted my pen a little bit. But yeah, I don't have any problems with uh, with ink flow here. It's got it looks like a good, nice ink uh, nib size. I like it. That seems pretty good. Let's look at this next to a bunch of other pens uh, in the Twisby line. So here you have. Let's put it in here, right there. I've got these in uh, order of cost. So uh, you have here the Twisby Go, which also has this big spring exposed here. The Twisby Go goes for, uh, I want to say, 18 bucks. Yeah, $18.99. Then, of course, you have the Twisby Swipe that we're talking about here at $26.99. Then the Twisby Eco, which has recently seen a little bit of a price increase to $32.99. It used to be like in the $28 range, uh, as far as I remember. 
But uh, yeah, 32 still a good price for 33 bucks right here. Then the uh, the Twisby. This is actually uh, this is one of my first. This might be my first Twisby. It might be my first Twisby. This is a Twisby 530 um, originally, but these are not original parts, except for I think the nib is original. Everything else broke over time and was replaced, and now the cap says 580. So this has got a current cap, uh, and then everything else is kind of a, a mishmash. So, uh, but the, five, uh, the 580 is a really nice pen. They have really worked out the kinks on this thing now, uh, and I like the 580 a, lot, 580 a lot, and they go for about 50 to 65 bucks, depending on uh, what kind of 580, if it's the, the plastic one or the AL or whatever. And then you have here the VAC 700, which is a massive vacuum fill pen, uh, which goes for 70-something, uh, I want to say. Uh, let me see if I can find a listing. Uh, the only one I'm seeing right now is the Iris, which is the VAC 700R, which is the same thing as this, uh, and it goes for 80 bucks. So 70 or 80 bucks for the VAC 700R, which is the newest iteration. Again, they've fixed a lot of the problems they had with the early ones, and uh, I haven't had any problems with any of my, my new Twisbees. So uh, check this pen out. I think it's pretty darn cool. It's got some interesting features. It comes with a bunch of, like, a <laughs> bunch of stuff to fill it up. Let me put this back over here. But it comes with two different converters and a massive cartridge. So if you uh, if you want to get somebody into pens, this is maybe an interesting way to do it because you have all these options for filling, including bottles and such. You've also got this massive cartridge. Like the the biggest complaint about cartridges is they don't hold enough ink, but. But you can't complain about that with Twisby. That's for darn sure. So uh, check these out at your local uh, fountain pen selling establishment. Again, I bought this from lemurinc.com. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. But, um, you know, go check it out. Tell uh, John at Lemur Inc. that I said hi. If you go over there, it won't get you anything. But, hey, it never hurts. All right. See you later. Thank you for watching. And uh, be good to everybody. Peace out.